Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. Now, before we get into this video, look at, look at the image I put in an overlay. Uh, Michelle, that's a reminder to put you in an overlay. This image, beautiful image that is also part of the thumbnail and the image all together was created by Gav Imp. I think that's how you say their name. And yes, they made it on Tumblr as originally fan art for because they loved my video so much which thank you thank you very much gav you are a lovely person and a lovely muffin the best muffin and yeah i was just really i could not stop grinning like i am still grinning while i'm recording this of it and they gave me permission yes they gave me permission to use this as long as i credited them so I will link their YouTube and I will link their Tumblr where you can see their fan art and such of them, of their creations and of this. And I'll try to remember to link the original post, but look at it, look at it. It's amazing. Ah, ah, I, I'm just so happy. Like, oh my God. Yes. Anyways, other than me sipping over fan art disclaimer again abel is not yandere cannon and technically not a cannon ship for jack bright and this is fiction just for fun and not to be taken seriously at all sipping for fictional characters and shipping fictional characters is fine as long as you're not illegal gross or creepy about it and you do not force ships on other people who do not ship that or ship it on or force the ships on the creators shipping in a healthy environment is healthy as long as you remember also to separate fiction from reality yes but i am sure since there is the multiverse that there is a universe in the scp universe that has able being in love with jack highly doubtful but it's a multiverse who knows it's infinite so there's probably one or two of these. So yeah, and since I'm technically adding to this, there's probably is a universe now that it's created of Abel being Yandere for Jack Bright. So yay, content. Anyways, so this is going to be part two. I will link, oh, so hopefully somewhere here, link somewhere here, the previous video and i will also have it at the end so you can check it out and watch that so you know what's going on here but summary abel figured out he's yandere and in love with jack wright and broke out of containment and tried to tried and succeeded in smooching his darling jack bright so now Anyways, again, thank you, Gavin, for your lovely artwork for this video and giving me permission. You are the best muffin ever. Bestest. Anyways, let's do this. Jack was pissed off. He was beyond pissed off as he sat in Abel's lap and Abel did not let anyone come near him. He was not having it. Jack had somehow been removed and put into Abel's containment cell with him and Abel was not letting him go. The foundation had no idea what to do with this. And Abel looked ready to kill anyone that came near his darling Jack or him. Jack was getting pissed off as well. He did not know what to do. He was not physically strong enough to defeat Abel, but he did not know why Abel was acting like this. He was pissed off angry and a little bit turned on because damn was able a good kisser for someone who never kissed before sorry had to check a message there we go anyways as i was saying abel looked looked at jack as he, jack glared at him again you have to let me go jack says firmly looking at abel but abel just looked down at him unaf unaffected by it no he said simply, not going to let Jack go under any circumstances. <clears throat> Jack was angry, and then he did something that he thought he wouldn't do. He gave the orders for them to kill the both of them. Br Abel was instantly in protect mode and was about to protect Abel, but the open fire came, 
and guns riddled both of their bodies. <gasps> like, yes! Jack! Uh, don't die! But technically, they're both immortal and they'll both come back. Just... Uh, oh my god. Hey, Jack Bright just committed on a live to get away from Ms. Yandere. Oh my god. Uh, sorry, I, I love this ship so much. And it's something Jack would do to piss off Abel and get away from him. Uh, anyways... Anyways, Abel clung to Jack's body, holding him close. He knew they would both come back, but he did not like the idea of Jack being able to get away from him so easily. He was not happy about it one bit, but he would hunt him down and find his darling. He did not care where he went or what part of the earth he had to search. He would have his Jack again. You are mine, he whispers into his ear, just as Jack loses consciousness and dies. Yes, he died. He Rest in peace. F and chat. <laughs> Anyways. As that passed on. Um, one sec. I had to check a message. Anyways, I'll edit that out. Anyways. Uh, Abel... It took Abel three days to come back. Jack was in a new body. They gave him a woman's body this time. Hopefully, they were hoping that Abel would not be attracted to Jack Bright in a whammon's body. The whammon Jack Bright. Jack was, of course, not in the mood for anything. He was. He had washed his mouth several times after getting his new body just to try and get the feeling out of his memory of kissing Abel. Though he has f finally admitted that he, Abel was an attractive man, but he hated that that he liked his looks. It just bothered him. Also, he could not get the kiss out of his mind. It was driving him crazy, and he didn't know what to do. Abel had finally come back and was ready to hunt down his darling and get him to be his. Fortunately for Abel... Abel, Abel, he did not have to do the hunted down. For Jack Bright was in a meeting to with the O5 Council to be assigned to have Abel as his patient. The former, well, not patient, but SCP. And to be his SCP. The former researcher explained this to Abel, who was very agitated but a bit pleased because now he would be half to be able to see Jack Bright on a regular basis. And there was nothing Jack Bright could do about it. He smirks in victory. This was one more step closer of keeping Jack Bright his and his forever. Jack was pissed off. What do you mean I have to be his researcher? Jack says, slamming her hands on the table. She, okay, remember, Jack Bright, is gender fluid. I'll switch between his and hers, but he's right now in a female body, so I'm going to try to stay with she, her, but Jack Bright is still Jack Bright. Thank you. Her hands on the table. What? Who? Whose idea was this? It was your brother's. The 0503 council member said. Jack looks at his brother, betrayed and otherly pissed. She did not know how to feel about this. How could her brother do this to her? He was pissed off. Sorry, I keep switching. I apologize. It's going to be confusing. I apologize. Jack Bright is pissed off, and he looks at his brother. How could he do this to his sibling? Fine, he says. He was loyal to the fact. I'm just going to go with he, him, because that's how I see Jack Bright. He, but he has female parts, but we'll go with he, him. Thank you. He stormed out, pissed off, and knew he had to go see Abel. He was not happy about it and hid his medallion, hoping that Abel would not be able to recognize him. That was his hope, at least. Once there, he saw that Abel's eyes narrowed on him. He sighs and keeps the medallion under his shirt and walks up to Abel. My name is Jack. I know it's you. Abel said, smirking at him, eyes hooded a bit. Your body's not too bad this time, he says. And Jack looks offended. First of all, I am fucking sexy as hell. Jack says confidently in his looks. 
And second of all, I am not yours. If you think that I'm ever going to be yours, you are dead wrong. I am never going to be yours. I will take my life over and over if I have to, or leave the foundation if I have to, but I will never be yours, Abel. Jack Bright snaps at Abel, and Abel just smirks. He knew even if Jack left the foundation, which he knew wasn't possible, since he was an SCP himself, that he would be able to keep Jack Bright in his sights at all time. It did not matter if Jack had female parts or male parts or no parts at all for sexual parts. Jack Bright was his. It, he just loved Jack Bright in general and knew the mannerisms and such. Now they get to talking. They get to talking. Let's do this. So I will be your new researcher. Jack Bright says, opening up the file. And honestly, I think we should put the sh the explosive head collar back on, don't you? Jack was a little sp spiteful at the moment right now, being butthurt about having to work with his the man he hated the most. But his eyes kept going back to Abel's lips. No, 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 Jack thought to himself. He is not having feelings for Jack for Abel. That is not going to happen. It is impossible. Abel seemed to notice and smirked. So you did like the kiss, he said, smirking in victory, and Jack's face went a deep red. I, I, I did not like anything. I do not like you at all. You are, I said you liked the kiss. I never said you liked me, he said, smirking in victory even more. Uh, this is so good. I love it. Jack got flustered and took a couple step back steps bleh, took a couple steps back. He was not going to be outsmarted by this man. This man may have thousands of years on him, but Jack Wright knew his way around dealing with Abel. Why don't we play a game, Jack Bright says, smirking. He knew Abel was super competitive, and if he could use this competitiveness to his advantage to get him to leave him alone, maybe Jack Bright will be able to be peacefully working with Abel without the idea of them smooching again, which you are going to be doing a lot of smooching. Okay, so... Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. Sorry, I kept messing up and I apologize about that. I'm going to do better. I didn't write this down. But anyways, so this is going to be the mini series. Uh, what should the competition be? Game slash B. It could be like a truth or dare game to try and get uh, able Jack J with Jack trying to make Abel uncomfortable. It could be uh Another game such as Rock, Paper, Scissors, and every time one loses, they have to do something the person says, or any game imagined that you can think of that's more of a trivial game, not a competition like fighting or wrestling or anything like that. Because in canon, Jack Bright uh, plays like Connect Four with Abel and does it where he can't win the game and just to annoy Abel, and that's part of his canon character. So we are looking for something like that, but also with a little spice. Like if Jack loses, Abel gets to kiss him, or if Abel loses, he has to be a good boy and do everything Jack says, which is stay away from him mostly for a, extent, a couple of hours or a couple of days. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. If you would like to see more, comment below what you would like to see. Like, for example, if, um, since Jack Bright right now is in a female body, uh, what would Abel react with his, with Jack Bright having his period and being, uh, in those cramps and mood swings, like any scenario ideas you can come up with, like Abel tries to plan a first date and says he'll behave if he can do a date with Jack Bright, stuff like that, courtship, cute little scenes, anything you can think of, I would love to hear it. And I will add as much as possible. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. This was on the fly and the microphone was shite, but I hope that you all enjoyed and stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye-bye.